buy as much, 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 make a ton, a ton, and then I'm gonna sell all of it. So much gold. What's up, gaming heroes? Welcome back to another awesome World of Warcraft video. My name is Erosium, and in today's video, oh, I'm so excited. Oh my god, I can hardly contain myself. Oh, yes, today's the day. Today is the day, my friends, my fellows, gaming heroes. Oh my gosh, let's get into it. First of all, uh, thank you so much to all my wonderful patrons who are supporting me. I have World of Warcraft gold guides on my Patreon. Information that is not on YouTube because it's too dangerous. If botters get hold of it, it could potentially ruin hundreds of markets. I don't want to do that, so I keep it for my patrons, those who support me in becoming a full-time content creator. I'm about a third of, of the way to being able to consider myself a full-time content creator, so please keep supporting. I really, really appreciate it. It means the world to me, and uh, thanks to those who come and check out the stream on Mondays and Fridays at 8 p.m. GMT on YouTube. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Oh my goodness, we're at the garrison. All right, now let me show you why I'm at the garrison today. I have a lot of characters, as you guys know, right? And this music is rather loud, but it's okay. It's all right. Erosium, chill. I'm, I'm at the garrison. And for those of you that don't know already, I do my garrison mission tables at every opportunity I can. Now, before anyone asks me, how do you set up the garrison? I have 36 videos on how to set up the garrison to make gold, okay? 36. So all you need to do is find my garrison playlist and simply watch through that, click through it. It's all still relevant. The only thing that's at all changed is the bloody gold purses, which are these at the bottom. No longer give you gold, they give you silver and they're not worth you doing at all. It's the only thing that's been nerfed in the garrison completely. Everything else still works and uh, I actually pretty much never use this at all anyway, I majority have always used everything else. Now, why is it important to get your garrison to level three? Well, first of all, every three days, your garrison will give you 500 garrison resources. Make sure you log in and you collect that. You can simply use your garrison hearthstone to come back to the garrison, grab your resources. But either way, your garrison table right here will always give you tons and tons of resources, which is super, super useful. Now, what I do is because all of my followers are like max level, they've got the highest item level because I've given them all upgrades. Uh, because of that, they pretty much dominate every mission they go on. And I only ever send them now on missions that are rare missions or missions that will give me extra resources. Apart from that, I don't really bother with anything else. All this stuff is pointless to me now because I have the full maximum amount of garrison followers. And they are all at the, the very top of the game with the best recruitment rewards. Now, the way I did this was I spoke to Lisa here. And Lisa allows you to get extreme scavenger, which is 200% garrison resources. Pretty epic. So that means that whenever you do garrison resource missions, you get 200%. Now, if you got three, three of your heroes with this, this extreme scavenger, that's 600% garrison resources, dude. So you can get like literally like 5,000 garrison resources from one mission. It's insane. But you can only ever have a maximum of 10,000 garrison resources. So you kind of got to be careful not over capping. All right. Now, the reason I'm so excited today is this is the trading post where I am stood right now. This is the trading post. And it's I've, I've got a level three trading post with a, my own personal auction house, which I absolutely love, by the way. I live for it. I live for it. Now, this trader changes every day, and we finally got the trader who gets you true iron ore. Yes! True iron ore. Buy all of it. And sumptuous fur. These are two things that I absolutely love, 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 because it gets you so much gold. It's unreal. I get so excited when I see it. So I'm going to buy all that true iron ore. I'm going to go over to my garrison resources. Come here. Come to Papa. Ah, oh, thousand garrison resources. This is 500 for most people, right? But if you've unlocked the special perk by getting with a rocker, then you can get that to a thousand instead of 500. It's pretty cool. I'm going to buy some Sunchious Fur now. Brilliant. Excellent. Now, I've got a TSM operation called Goblin Gliders. Now, Goblin Gliders automatically sends these materials over to my character who crafts my Goblin Gliders, Erosium. So, I simply just come over to my mailbox. I click Goblin Gliders. I click send. The stuff goes off. Boom, bang, ping. Now, let me just quickly respond to a couple people in the guild chat because let me tell you, the guild is blowing up here on silver moon if you are an eu player just start a character on silver moon eu join the knights of creation simply press j and search knights of creation and you can simply click apply there i'll get a notification i can go over to my roster click applications which is here and simply accept anyone who applies it's 
Silver Moon, EU. Okay, I'm sorry if you're NA, there's no way for you to, to join. You've got to create a whole new account, buy the game again. It's an absolute blag. Don't blame me, blame Blizzard, dead sausages. Now that is done, I'm simply going to be logging through each of my characters now. And any character that has lots of garrison resources, I'm going to quickly send over to the trading post. I'm going to buy as much, much, much true iron ore and some just for, and then we're going to make a ton, a ton, a ton of goblin gliders. And then I'm going to sell it. And then I'm going to sell all of it. This character has none and <laughs> no garrison resources. Let's quickly check the mission table. Okie dokie. Now, I haven't done all of my ults, but I've done a fair whack of them. And I just did it as, kind of as an example more so to you of what you could do if you put your, your heart and soul into this, so to speak. And uh, and, and that's pretty much what, what I'm doing right now. Just accepting all of the stuff in the mail right there. We've got a ridiculous amount of materials here. It's, it's quite disgusting, really, when you look at it all. Right, now we're going to go to our engineering and goblin gliders. Uh, you got to remember that this makes five at a time, okay? So when I click craft all, it's five times 306. And if I got all the other materials from my other characters, it'd be 404. Now, when we do the maths on that, 306 times five equals 1,530 is how much we're making this time. I've not even covered all of my alts. I'm just kind of doing this as an example. And then when you sell each of these, each goblin guider you make is worth 20 gold. All right, so what's the math on that, Erosium? 20 gold times 1,500. 30k, just to, to use your hearthstone and, and go check your, your garrisons. Wow, that's a, that, that seems like a good amount of gold there, Erosium. It does, doesn't it, random viewer of mine? Now, if I were to go to every single one of my alts and get every single one of my garrison resources, I could make that even more. That's only doing like 10 characters. So what? think what you could do with 50. Pretty gosh darn incredible. Let's just like theoretically run the results right now. So I'm going to do all the mathematics now with you. Each character can have a maximum of 10,000 garrison resources, okay? Say that you're doing your garrison resource missions every day. Only takes two seconds to do really quickly as part of your daily yeah, routine. All right, then you wait until you get the vendor who, who does the cheap trade. I didn't even tell you guys, make sure you only do the trade when it's cheap. That is 16 garrison resources per sumptuous fur. Sumptuous fur or 16 garrison resources per true iron ore. True iron ore, yes! Never do any higher than that. It's just a waste of resources, okay? So don't do that. All right, so now we're going to divide that by 16, okay, to get the amount that we would typically going to have. So 625 of any of the resources, okay? So say um, 25 of my characters are going to get True Rhino and 25 of my characters are going to get Sumptuous Fur, okay? So times that by 25. 15,625, okay? So now let's just presume that... We have 15,625 of each. We've got to divide that by 5, okay? Divided by 5 equals 3,125, okay? That is typically what we would be able to craft if we were to do it like that. That's with 25 of them doing that and 25 of them doing the other one. All right, now 3,000... 125 times 5, because you craft 5 at a time, right? So times 5 equals 15,625. Again, now times that by 20 gold each, presuming you set it around that, equals 312,000 gold. A lot of gold. That is the mathematics behind doing the Goblin Gliders. Now, it makes it a little bit awkward because there you need to do this, but in all realistically likelihood, you're presuming that you only buy this once every now and again when the vendor is up. You're going to be buying this every time you see the vendor is up. You're always going to have a lot more than 10,000 resources because you're always buying it every chance you see it, and it's always going to be at least once to twice a week. So you can always know for a fact that you're going to get this quite a lot. So it could 
easily be over 312,000. This is actually a mean average of what we think you could earn doing this. All right, so thank you so much for, for watching. I really, really hope you saw some value in this video. Your brain's opened up to certain new potential opportunities. True iron ore sometimes falls as low as one gold. And this is because the trader sometimes is there for multiple days. Whenever the trader is there for multiple days, what you want to do is buy all the true iron ore you can see on the auction house, wait until the trader changes at the wall of adrenal garrison, and then sell the true iron ore back to the auction house when it's at about three gold each. You've basically tripled your flip there by simply buying true iron ore when it's cheap and selling it when it's expensive. The market moves with the trader. So whenever you've got a cheap trader, that's when the market's going to be cheap. And whenever you've not got the cheap trader, it's that's when the market's going to be expensive kind of a, a clever little flip so to speak so i really hope you found that this video kind of useful and i really hope that you will consider subscribing clicking the like button leaving your thoughts in the comment section below there's loads more ways of making gold with a garrison i even have a garrison gold guide with step-by-step -step instructions for both alliance and horde over on my patreon for anyone that wants to support me and check that out thanks for watching this is rosium out